Brother, my brother, what color is brown? It's, it's brown, brown, right? It's brown. Green. And if they, as if they burn in a furnace. So if you burn anything, what color does it turn? Why does it matter? What color does it turn, my brother? Black. That's what it matters because they put a white image in our churches and the Bible clearly says but he's a I black man. That's why it matters. So, so let me ask you a question here. Let me ask you a question here. So, so if your kids call somebody else daddy, is that okay? Well, first of all, I ain't got the shit. If you had kids and you know you they daddy, but they call somebody else daddy, does it matter? Yeah, okay then, so then it matters. wanted to. Oh, I'm under the faith. I'm under the faith of Jesus. I was washed in the blood of Christ. I don't have to keep these commandments. That's, not true. That's what you said. That's you you shaved true. your beard, didn't you? That's not what I you said. shaved your beard, didn't you? you now we're going to get another law. Let's go. We gonna, we, give me Isaiah 58 and 1. No. Give, I'm gonna give, you, give me Isaiah chapter 51. Because our people love to come up and try to talk against the Bible. You ain't trying to hear the Bible. I, I don't want to hear what you got to say. I, I want to hear the Bible. No, you don't. Because if you knew that, really? you wouldn't share your faith. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Read it out. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. You understand that? Why were we commanded to come out here and cry aloud? Why? Because our people will be doing folly. Our people will not be following God's laws. That's, That's why we, I'll, read it again. Cry aloud. So we're going to cry aloud. And, and bro, you said we don't want to hear. We want to hear, thus saith the Lord. Get that in, um, no, finish this, finish this. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So we're going to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Because we're out here to change the community of our people. The conditions of our people. That's why we're out here. Right. If you was out here to change the conditions of our people, you would be doing it. But you're not. We are. Come on. And show my people their transgressions. So we're going to show our people their transgressions. What's our people's transgressions? Black on black crime, drug dealing, whoring our sisters, not marrying. Those are our people's transgressions. Shaving their face, not keeping God's feast days, following traditions of men. We're going to show our people their transgressions. Come on. No. And the house of Jacob, their sin. The house of Jacob, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're going to show you your sin. Did you know you're from the 12 tribes of Israel, my brother? No. Did you know you're from the 12 tribes of Israel? Very likely, yes. Very much It's a yes and no. Either you know you're from the 12 tribes of Israel or you don't. Because it's in the Bible. It does matter. Why does it matter? Because God says it matters. God matter Yes, it does. He says that. No, it doesn't. Show them. Show them. Show them. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy. This is the Bible. We read it thus after the Lord. We ain't going off your mouth, bro. Not here. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art holy, holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that? Read it again. For thou art an holy people. So God said you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a holy people. That's separate. Holy means separate. Come, say that again. We can get that in the Bible for you too. Read. You tell me where it's for thou right. art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So Lord, our Lord thy God have chosen our people to be a special people unto himself. Give me uh, Joel 2 and 27. Bring it Joel out. 2 and 27. Because our people like to, they love to cater to the other nations and not worry about what's going on in our own community. Right. They don't give a damn over there in their community what's going on over here. Right. But we want to cater to them and worry about what's going on with them and why they're not uh, part of this Bible. Read. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am, I am the Lord your God, and none else. Hey, did you hear that? My brother, pay attention. Pay attention. Read. Pay attention. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, 
and that I am the Lord your God and none else. I am the Lord your God and none else. None else. Y'all hear that? Read it again. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. He is the Lord our God and none else. I got a community. 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 I got a well, what color was Christ? It says it in the Bible, right? See, the, the soldier didn't go over there with you. I'm going to go over there with you. But listen to this here real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart right there this is a prime example right we 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 get what we can get from these other nations because we're in their captivity right now we're still slaves to this day we slaves to this day because we pay tribute to them they rule over us we don't have an army for ourselves we don't have a, 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 a land for ourselves read it again Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So we've been oppressed in this land for over 400 plus years. Right, so see, they're, 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 that's the Christianity Catholic doctrine. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. So the gift, the heart is your mind. So you can't let, let a gift that somebody give you destroy you from what you are uh, truly learning and knowing. Hey, we got to understand this here. We have to understand this here. We have to stop believing what man had told us and we have to come back to this Bible. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, Read. And only one body of Christ. That is the, the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. I don't see, I don't see any God, God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Read it again. God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. So we're going to let the Bible be true and every man a liar. That's why we read the Bible. We don't go off what somebody else has told us. Read it again. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Now, the brother just said he don't even uh, uh, know the description of Christ, what Christ looked like. Do you know the description of Christ, my brother? Well, I know that he's in the Arab area, so he's in the... Uh, there's no, there's no Arabic area. If you're going to let me talk, I'm going to talk. You well, when you say something uh, that's out of order, I'm going to correct it. That's what we're supposed to do, okay, correct our brother. I have no problem correcting Okay. Israel. The whole area, the Garden of Eden possibly was ancient over, we do know that. But here's the deal, the whole area is, is dark, darker skinned people, obviously it's the darker skinned people, a, a, little, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but it's more darker skinned people. Yes, everybody descended from that area. Alright, sure. so if everybody descended from that area, yes. which is which is North Africa, they, they built the Sudan's Canal to cut, cut, to cut Israel off, to make it now they call it the Middle East. But all that originally, all that originally is Africa. Ethiopians, black people. Egyptians, black people. So Israel, black people. We're going to get the understanding on that too. All right? Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So reveal. That means to show, right? To show something, right? So John the Revelator says he's going to reveal things that are surely come to pass. And all the churches, what images do they have up in these churches? 
Bro, I'm just asking the question. Can you answer the question? If I live in Japan, I'm an African Japanese person. If I live in, if I live in, we're talking about here in America. Let's just answer the question. What's the color of the image? Because it matters to God. We just ran to you. Read, read. Drop down. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Pay attention, pay attention. All right, pay attention. His head and his hair were white like wool. So wool is a texture, right? Hold up, wool is a texture. Who has that type of texture here? Okay, then come on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a fine bread. So what color is that? Can I ask you a question? What color is that, bro? The whole world enslaved by Satan, yes or no? What color is bronze? The whole world enslaved was a whole world enslaved by Satan. What color is bronze? God runs the whole world. God runs the whole world. Satan has no power. He has no power. He has no power. He has no power. No. Bro, you, bro, you ain't even keeping no laws, bro. That's why you have no understanding of the Bible. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. What color is brass? Simple question. My brother, what color is brass? It's brown, right? It's brown. Read. And if they, as if they burn in a furnace. So if you burn anything, what color does it turn? Why does it matter? What color does it turn, my brother? Black. That's what it matters because they put a white image in our churches and the Bible clearly says but he's a I black man. That's why it matters. So, so let me ask you a question here. Let me ask you a question here. So, so if your kids call somebody else daddy, is that okay? Well, first of all, I ain't got the truth. If you had kids and you know you they daddy, but they call somebody else daddy, does it matter? Okay then, so then it matters. Color matters. Does black lives matter? All lives matter. Does black lives matter? Of course all lives matter. So then Christ's color matter. Christ can Christ's save colors life, matter. Bruh, you really need to humble yourself and listen. You got two ears and one mouth. I'm being old, right? By grace, we're supposed to give grace to those who listen, right? You're, you're not giving grace. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Now this is our Savior, our leader, Christ speaking. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What does that mean? Read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So what does that mean? Yes. You see this right here? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, and Christ right. himself said, read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. So how is that for everybody? It's about bloodline, bro. Listen, listen, so Christ said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? So he came from the... They all over the world. Yeah, they were. But yeah, through slavery. That's how they got all over the world. They can be Polish. Right. We, yeah, we got Israelites in Poland. Just like we got them in Japan. Just like we got them in Germany. Just like we got them in Russia. Just like we got them in uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. We were scattered through slavery to the four corners of the earth. That's really? Now, I'm going to show you something. Because you're talking about everybody else. You're talking about the children of the Yeah, the children of the promise. The Israelites. And what makes them children of the Say that again. What makes them children of the Through their father, Jacob. Uh, Isaac and Abraham. Abraham. Right. Abraham's descendant. Right? Abraham's descendant. Who, 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 hold on, who's his descendant? Who's his descendant? Who, 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 who did he get a promise to? Because Abraham had many children. He had many children. Who did the promise go to? It went to the Isaac. Isaac. So who did Isaac have? Who was Isaac's son? Who was Isaac's son? By what? Who was Isaac's son? The promise. The promise. God gave Abraham the promise, right? And then he gave it to his son, Isaac, right? That's right. And then who did, I, who did it pass off from Isaac? Who did it pass? I'm asking you a question. I'm trying to answer. You can't answer. It's a simple question. It's a, no, it's a simple question. 
It's a simple answer. Who did it pass on from Isaac? It was passed to the children of Solomon. Jacob. He chose Abraham. Who did God choose? And then he chose Isaac. And then, and then he chose uh, Jacob. Jacob. When Esau was the oldest, because he was by promise, not by blood. Because by blood, it would have been the oldest son of Esau. But it was by promise. That's right. Jacob. So and who is the children of Jacob? Who is the children of Jacob? By the promise. twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Read. By promise. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. So all this have Ezra spoken before God, right? Listen. Because thou madest the world for our sake. You hear that? He said you made the world for our sake. So that's not everybody. Come on. As for the other people, as for the other people that you care about, that you love, the so-called white man, the Arab man, the Asian man, the African man, come on. As for the other people, as for the other people, listen to the Bible, bro. Which also come of Adam, which also come from Adam, that we're speaking about, remember, come on. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. But be like I just spit them. That's not a God. That's not a God. It's not the Bible. See, that's how we know. That's how we know that you don't believe. Because we're reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. You don't agree with the Bible because there's no light in you, bro. None. Read. But be like I just spit them. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that's fallen from a vessel. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, so these people that God said are nothing, listen, have begun to be lords over us. They've begun to be lords over us. That's why we have the slavery. That's why we in captivity. Because these people have begun to be lords over us. Come on. And to devour us. And to devour us. Feed us through all through our slavery. Uh, you didn't uh, originally speak Spanish, bro. They beat that language into you. Because the Spaniards that came from Spain. Read the green. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten and fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? See, our people have been taught this right here. Christianity through slavery. That's why we believe the white man, the white man who taught us Christianity and Catholic, they said love everybody. But the God of the Bible didn't say love everybody. And we just gave y'all several examples. But Christianity is so burned in our people that they can't hear the word of God. First, first and foremost, you have to keep the laws. Romans uh, 9 13. Guys about love. Not Romans, la Ro love Romans 9 13, last script. God says, God, God says love one another, not. Right, he's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who he's talking about. That's who he's talking about. Yeah, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Who's Esau? Okay, so why did God hate him? Because he gave up his inheritance. That ain't what God hated him. Here's Esau right here. That's Esau right there. So, read it again. No, don't go yet. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob, the father of the twelve tribes of Israel, he loved, come on. But Esau have I hated. Esau have he hated. Because a lot of people say God don't hate. But it's right here written in the Bible. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.
Let's go! 